she's back with none other than another haul, of course. But, 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 we're doing it a little different today. The majority of the things in this haul are from either small business or sourced sustainably. Only two of the places I'm talking about are not that. But the other three, yes. I'm trying to shop like more that way when feasible and when possible. And I wanna platform more small businesses, even though YouTube barely tells my subscribers when I post nowadays, so I don't know. But even if it helps like with one sale for a small business, then like my job is, my job is done. First thing, I, um, I think it was in the background of, was it a Mia Maples video? I'm not sure, it was like, I'm pretty sure it was though. Was, I saw like a strawberry crochet pillow on her couch and I thought it was so cute. And I was like, I need a little more decor for my office. Cause it's very plain vibes in there because it's the only room in my house that just has plain white walls for me to use for like photo backgrounds and stuff like that. Um, and to like put up backdrops and just like, I wanted it to be just a, a room that I could utilize for multiple things. So it doesn't have much decor. So I was like, I wanna do some strawberries. Like that's cute. I do like strawberry cow stuff in my room, but I was like, I want just some straight up strawberries. So I don't know why my, my fake Southern accent is coming out so much today for some reason, but let me stop blabbering. Um, so I went on Etsy and I was searching for like just the perfect little strawberry crochet pillow in like the colors that I liked. And I, I came across this um, shop, I'll put the name here. And of course everything in the description as usual. But yeah, I was actually, I think the first um, buyer for this particular listing in their shop. They had a couple different colorways, but I wanted this one specifically like this to match the next item I'm gonna show you in a minute. But I wanted this color pink with white seeds and like this color top. Cause I'm pretty sure this color pink had like either red seeds or just had a darker color top. So I asked if they could make it in this colorway and they did. And I couldn't believe how quickly they got this made. Um, Cause this is a handmade item and they shipped it from another country. So yeah, they got it to me so quick and they even sent like a little like extra little gift with it. Oh, I forgot to mention, they also gave me a coupon code. It's not like an affiliate code or anything, but they were like, here for your um for your followers to get a discount in our store and i'm like uh yeah i will definitely share that with them um if you want a discount in their shop if you want your own little crochet strawberry <laughs> but yeah super high quality really adorable um it looks so cute i have a, a futon with like a, a faux fur blanket on it that's pink and just looks so cute sitting in the corner with my little pig the opposite side and so the reason i wanted this colorway is because i saw this lamp and it's a little, it's a, it's a night light, I would say, more than a, a lamp and it has like a couple of different color settings. And I, they have this on Amazon. And I was like, how cute would that be to have a matching little strawberry lamp and strawberry plush? Okay. For me personally, this brings me joy. <laughs> you know, I was like, that is cute. So yeah, this is just a little, it's actually squishy. Um, not like super squishy, but it's soft. And like I said, it has the three different light settings and the colors match are perfect. I like having like vibe lights slash night lights in every single room of my house. I don't know when I became a person, like <laughs> I didn't understand when people were always like, turn off the overhead lights. Like it's killing my vibe type situation. Cause I was like, well, I can't see, like I have bad eyesight, like I need lights. Um, but now I feel like after like it depends on the season, but now if it's after like seven or eight, I'm like, we need these over overhead lights off. It's vibe lights only, like low lights, soft lights only. I feel like I just, I, I don't know. I just woke up one day and I was like, yeah, I kind of completely understand now. So yeah, that's that. So I have just a couple of like staples I wanted to show you that I got from Fashion Nova that I think would be helpful. And then one secondhand item and then another small business. So I guess I'll just talk about the Fashion Nova stuff quick. So I am a sucker for basics, right? Especially cause I got so much going on on my skin. I really, really like basics. Um, and I feel like I'm the kind of person where it's like, I'm always searching for like the perfect basic. And when I find it, I get it in every color. <laughs> okay. 
So the shirt that I'm wearing now is one of those things. Um, it's like kind of a, it's a square neck crop top, but I love the fabric. It's like, it's, it's doubled. So, and it's, I don't know, it's just like thick and supportive and nice, but also really stretchy. And this is one of the few shirts that I can like wear without a bra, like a tank top that I can wear without a bra because it gives me enough support, um, which I really like. And I just think it's a flattering, um, it's a flattering neckline if you like showing off your decollete. And it's a flattering length. I always struggle with crop tops either being like too short, too long. But the struggle for the correct crop top is real. So yeah, this is one of them. And it comes in a million colors. I have it in white, I have it in brown. Um, so I just wanted to, to share the intel. <laughs> oh, my air conditioning just came on if you heard that. But yeah, I wanted to share the intel. And then I also have, again, same struggle with like the perfect baby tee. So they have um, my favorite like cropped t-shirts. They have the super cropped one and the regular cropped one. I just think they're flattering. They're so, so, so affordable. Just like a really good place to get basics. Um, I think this one might be the super cropped one. I think I have the super cropped one and the regular cropped, or maybe I just put it in the wash and it shrunk. I'm not really sure. Just for like, yeah, just a nice basic little tee. It's hard to get your hands on. And, and they just have them in so many colors. Like if you can think of the color they have it. I just thought it could be helpful for, for you. I don't know if you're into the basics like me. Also, you know, we in the summer and I have like a couple of, um, like bathing suits that I just didn't like the cut or the fit. So I never ended up wearing them. So I donated those when I was like, okay, I kind of want like all of my bathing suits are like black or pink. <laughs> kind of like I need a new red bikini and they have like mix and match bikinis on there, which is awesome because so many people are not the same size on the top and the bottom. Um, and I love this type of bottom where it's kind of like, it's like ruched so you can adjust like how wide it is in the front and the back. You see what I'm saying? So you can make it a little skinnier because I like a really little skinny itsy bitsy teeny weeny bikini, but you can also like make it wider. I pretty much only wear thong bikinis. Usually have a cover up on, but sometimes I don't because I'm a thought, but they also have just like the plain bikini triangle top. So this was perfect because I was able to get an extra small bottom and a small top because sometimes these tops, they just, they're not covering much at all, are they? So love that they have the option to mix and match. Also wanted to share that for you, thought it would be helpful. Can't try the bikini on on here, so follow me on IG to see all the bikini pics. So the next set that I have to show you, I'm gonna have to try it on, but I kept seeing like on Depop suggested like really beautiful handmade um, crochet pieces. And this one shop got recommended to me, it's uh, Jules Knits and Knots, again, I'll put it down below. She does like really cool like spider web, um, like shrugs and sweaters, just like the, your, like the really trendy like shrug. It's like the bell bottom, the bell bottom, the bell sleeve, like crochet, crochet shrug. I can't talk today. Anyway, yes, that was Hebrew for why is today different than any other day? Or why is tonight different than any other night? Basically, I can't talk ever. So I got suggested, I saw she had like a three piece pink set and it was so cute. I had to inquire, you can order from her Depop or on her Instagram. And I was like, yeah, I need this. I need this for the summer. I need this for a vacation. You can give her your custom measurements or you can just like go by the regular size. I think, um, I wish I went with just like the regular size on the bottom because the measurements didn't quite translate um, to fit the way I would have wanted to, but the top is perfect. Um, and so is the shrug. That could have been my bag because it's really hard to like measure yourself. I'm definitely still gonna wear it, but I don't think I can wear it like out out the way I wanted to because it doesn't cover that much. So it might end up just being like a, a pool cover situation. But it was so beautiful. Um, I'm going to insert the pictures of me trying it on here. I just love it. It spoke to me. It was a lighter pink in her shop, but I wanted to see if she had like a darker pink because I saw a video and I thought it might have been too light. Now I'm like, Maybe I should have gotten the lighter one. I don't know. It's so hard. Um, I feel like I always like put so much pressure on myself when I'm getting something like custom made or like splurging a little bit on something that I always have like, I always second guess like, should I should have done this, should I have done that? But I'm still like so happy with it. Above all, this person 
is just so helpful, so kind, and so sweet. Like, I've never had someone be just so attentive and kind. Like, as a small business, like, they deserve, like, all the sales. Um, and also, the turnaround time was amazing for something that's handmade. I just can't believe that people are capable of making these things with their own two hands. Like, the talent and the patience and... I'm just, it's its something that I'm just like blown away by. I just like, yeah, I, I could not recommend shopping with with her more. Oh, and she's in Alaska. She lives in a, like Alaska, which is also so interesting. And yeah, like I said, she was just such a sweet like angel and I like couldn't be more proud to promote somebody who's so kind um, and so skilled and so talented, so. If you like crochet pieces and you want to like do something custom like for festivals or for vacation or whatever she has like a whole bunch of colors like a whole bunch of styles just so much cute stuff like so yeah check out her her depop or her ig and always good to support a, a one person show because your girl is also a one person show and when people support me it means the world to me okay so a little story time when I was on vacation, was it last year? Um, I met this super cute girl whose name was ironically <laughs> Strawberry as I was like showing you guys strawberry stuff. And she had like very similar vibes to me, like black and pink. Um, we even had like some of the same like clothes and outfits. And she had this purse and it was so cute. And I know I've talked about this, that I'm like, I'm really trying to not buy like purses, backpacks, whatever, but I just did like a whole cleanse got rid of all, donated actually, the majority of the ones that I wasn't using and then listed um, the ones that I thought could possibly sell on my Depop, Poshmark, and Mercari. So we've whittled it down a lot. And for me, that meant I could have room for one that I really, really wanted. Hold on, let me run it back, let me run it back. I saw her holding, I saw her with this bag and I was with my best friend on the vacation and we both were like, that bag is so, that is, that is an MJ bag. Like, where is it from? And she was like, Dolls Kill. And I was like, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> because I don't buy from Dolls Kill. But they do have so much Dolls Kill stuff on like the, the reselling apps. Which as I've talked about multiple times, like when you're buying secondhand and you're, you're not supporting any of these companies directly. So that's the eth ethical way to shop. And I was on Poshmark one day, minding my own business when I saw the purse, I was like, oh. I like sent it to my, sent it to my bestie. And I was like, you know, I'm trying to not get any purses. Like if I'm going to get a purse, I want to like invest in like a high quality, like um, designer piece, obviously still secondhand, but that has like resale value. And I was like, do I, do I make an offer on this bag? Actually, I had been watching the bag and waiting for the price to drop because she had it listed like, like 30 bucks higher than the retail price. So I was like, hmm, <laughs> then it went down, down, down. So I texted my friend, I was like, do I make an offer? Like, you know how I've been feeling about not wanting to get bags. And she was like, girl, you need to get the bag. Like, I've been looking for it for you. Like, you loved it when you saw it. Like, just get the bag. And I was like, you know what, you're right. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, here's the bag. I'm gonna stop talking about the bag and show you the bag. It's uh, like a soft Sherpa material. And look at the chain. It's like, it's a pink chunky chain, which I usually don't like chain straps, but just this bag gave me what I needed. And it has a, a rhinestone heart zipper. Like, I'm pretty sure this is Sugar Thrills. Let me open it. The Sugar Thrills have like the cutest stuff. Yeah, of course, Sugar Thrills. Like, I, I like everything that they make, and luckily there's so much of it being resold. So I'm like, I can still get cute stuff without supporting brands I don't want to support. I think it's so adorable. It's so me. Like, come on now. You know, we, we know how I feel about a little baby shoulder bag, okay? It's just giving. So yeah, shout out to Poshmark if you want it. If you're not on Poshmark, you should sign up. I have a link in the description for that too. You can get so much stuff. This was also brand new, by the way. So not, like, not all secondhand stuff is even used. I sell new stuff all the time. So yeah, shout out. Shout out to his family. Okay, this is the last thing also, and I guess this is also an Amazon thing. I, so I have super sensitive skin, like very acne prone. I break out very easily, but it's also very dry. So I want to use like some really good, like moisturizing products, serums and stuff like that. But I'm just so afraid to 
put that on my skin directly. I can't use oils on my skin and I'm really scared of just like using a straight serum. So I've kind of gotten back into sheet masks. I wasn't really feeling them for a while, but I found this brand um, that makes cruelty-free and vegan sheet masks. And they're like, they're like soaked in serum and they don't break me out. So if you're a sensitive skin uh, person that wants to use something that's like moisturizing, moisturizing, hydrating, etc. These are the two I've tried. I'm also gonna get the um, straight hydrating one. Comes in a pack of five, I think. Um, so I got the collagen one and it's uh, marine collagen, like vegan collagen, and the vitamin C one. I personally think I like the vitamin C one as far as like direct results. Like I really love how my skin looks after using the vitamin C. It's dewy but not greasy looking at all. Um, and just so just shiny and healthy and rejuvenated. The collagen one, I felt like it didn't look, my skin didn't look that nice immediately after, but I think that might be more of something where you see, not like you see crazy long-term results or whatever, but it might be something where it's like, um, just good for like your skin, like internally, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? They're made of eco-friendly, sustainable material. So it's just that in the bag. It doesn't have like the backing. So they're a little hard to like peel apart. Um, but I really like them. I use them after the shower and I just like, it makes me feel, it just makes me feel refreshed and it makes my like face feel like it's taken a drink of water. Yeah, they're made of bamboo. So, and it also says like they're free of parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, silicone, artificial fragrance, ben, benzo, benzophenin, benz, benzophenin, <laughs> artificial dyes, pheno, Zethanol, phenozethanol, PEG, it's free of peg, and talc free. I don't know what all those chemicals are, but they're not in here, so that's, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's, so that's everything. I hope you all enjoyed this haul, and I'm super happy to be trying to continue to support more, some more small businesses. Now, it's not to say that you ain't gonna see another like full-on fashion over type haul in the future because you are, you are. Especially just because of the budget is a thing, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, like I said, gonna shop more this way as much as possible. And it took me a long time to accumulate all these things because your girl's just not out here shopping. <laughs> what i don't know what's going on today but love y'all appreciate y'all for still being here or or if you're new i mean welcome hope you'll stay a while okay love you guys bye